Hey Frank. Yes? Will you help me work in the crawl space today? Right now I'm trying to play as Dengar, so no thanks. Shen? Yes. Will you come help me in the crawl space today? No. I'm sorry. <laughs> crawl space is not for me. Hey Bella. Will you help me in a crawl space? Hey Ed. What? You want to help me work in a crawl space today? Yeah. You do? Yeah. You're going to have to get work clothes on. Okay? I need to change my shoes. Back down here, my favorite place, the crawl space. I've got to get back down here. There's a ton of junk, debris, and some old wiring I've got to pull out. So, Ed. We got a lot of junk to get out of here. Yeah. You're gonna be my helper? Mm -hmm. We need to get all those lumps like that out of sticking out our floor. We gotta make this place a little bit yeah. more tidy. Yeah. Okay, let's get busy. Mm -hmm. So you can see here some of this old wiring hung with the ceramic hangers. Never use this stuff, for the love of God. Don't use it. We're gonna run new wiring under here, to new outlets, and get rid of all this old stuff. I'm just gonna pull it out so it never gets used. There's also some debris over here. We're gonna get all that stuff out of here, get this place kinda of tidied up. Once I get the crawl space cleared out, I'll be able to run some new electrical wiring, planting some outlets, and a ceiling fan. So I'll need a couple of switches for that. This room is a wreck. It really needs organized. There's dirt everywhere. I just need to clean it up and get it usable and functional. I've got some other problems like this hole in the wall. I need to patch those up so that air's not coming in through those. I've got several holes I'll need to close, cover, and scrap some plywood. These are great places for mice to crawl out of the basement area. And there's spots along the sill that also have some leak into the crawl space. And I'll need to get those closed up with some spray foam. The windows look great. I'm really happy with the way those went in. I'll need to uh, pack the perimeter with some insulation and get those so that they won't leak air. Once I get this room whipped back into shape, I'll be able to start the insulation. I've got a lot to do today. It's not very glamorous, but it's all work that needs to get done. All right, I'm done in the crawl space. I pulled a bunch of these off of the bottom of the joists. They were hanging and a wire was coming through them. They're no good. These are old school. You don't want to use this stuff. Run new wires make it right. So other than that, there's some bricks, some wood, broken glass, pipe, a bunch of junk. So it's clear. Hopefully I only need to go down one more time to pull some wire. That's probably what I should do now. So I'm going to start putting in some outlets. First thing I need to do is hang a duplex uh, receptacle box. Those generally are about 16 inches off the floor to the top of the box. This is what those look like. I want one here near the corner. It's between the corner and the window. And that way I've got a spot for a floor lamp or maybe plug your phone in while you're sitting in a chair in the corner. To mark that, I've found with these old studs, it's impossible to see a pencil mark. So I stole some of my kids' sidewalk chalk. Works great. You wanna go about 16 inches off the floor. Now here's the thing this old floor, I'm going to be leveling it. So I'm going to be coming up another inch, inch and a half, maybe even two inches with a floor overlayment. So I'm going to go about 18 inches off of this original subfloor. So we mark, find 18 inches here. I'm going to put a mark on the wall. A lot easier to see than a pencil. It doesn't need to be super accurate. I'm going to go ahead and step my outlet box on there. Position it. Secure it to the stud. Now I can run rough and wiring from this box to the next. 
So this is the wall where the sheets hanging is the entrance into the room. This will be just to your right hand as you walk into the room from the dining room area. I want to put my switch right here where it's convenient. I've already mounted an outlet box here, just a convenience outlet, and that's right now at about 18 and a half inches. I'm making an allowance for the extra floor that I'm going to put on top of the existing subfloor to help level it. A switch box needs to be about 48 inches to the top of that. So I'm going to measure up. If this is at 16, I'm going to go another 32 inches on top of this box. This is approximately right there. So I'm going to mark that, and that's where the top of my switch box will be. I'm going to drive the nails on. This box will house two switches, one for the ceiling fixture and one for the fan. Now I've got all the duplex and switch boxes mounted, I can start running wiring between them. Now I'm running this whole room off of one circuit. I plan to bring the circuit feed into the first duplex box and then daisy chain all the way around the room till I get to this box. This will be my last box. Then from this, I'll supply power to the switch and then from the switch, up to the ceiling. Today, all I want to do is run the wiring for the outlets. This is because I need to get under the floor into the crawl space to do that. Once that's all done, I can close the crawl space up and then continue work inside the room. All right, we're back down under here. I ran some new wire. I'm using 14-2 wire, which means it's 14 gauge, two wires. Inside, there's going to be a hot wire, a black wire, a neutral wire, a white wire, and a ground wire, which is spare. I hang these with these clips. Just tack these up against the bottom of the joist, and it's all good. So basically, I'm running one of these wires between each box. I've got two by the front window, and I've ran one wire between those, and then this wire goes from the window back towards the switch area. So, back up top now. Well, I've got all the wiring in under the crawl space. When you're pulling wire, it's almost impossible to do it on your own. You gotta have somebody like a beautiful wife to feed you the wire. Otherwise it kinks, gets caught on stuff, and you're just up and down, up and down. So. But it's all pulled, all the wires in place, tacked up to the bottom side of the structure, and now I can seal up the floor. At least now I don't have to go in the crawl space anymore. Only one more task, try to figure out how to get out of. Ugh. Now I need a bath. So here you can see from above, it's a little bit easier to see. We've run the wire underneath the joist, on one side, and then it comes up through the floor and then to the outlet. Here I've ran it all the way up to the switch box and back down. This is so I have enough to get from the outlet to the switch as well. Here at this outlet, you can see we've come up through the floor with two wires. One wire comes from that switch we were just looking at. The other wire go, will go back down into the floor and over to the next outlet, which is just over there. We'll go from this outlet to the next outlet and to the next outlet until all the outlets are connected with separate wires. Well, I finally got all this wiring roughed in and I think that's good for today. I'm gonna just focus on cleaning up, straightening up, getting everything ready for the next step. Soon, should be able to uh, Go ahead and get this door closed up and then insulate all the walls. It's the middle of January. It's only going to get colder. So we can already feel draft coming in from this room. So we really need to get this airtight. I have everything I need to do the insulation effort. Just got to get ready to do it. I think we'll call that a day for today and get started tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe to the Rundown Reborn channel. 
Be sure to turn on the notification for all the upcoming videos I got planned. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.